Okay, bear with me a moment, please, folks. <clears throat> I'm just getting the uh, kettle going. <sighs> right, hang on a minute. Where's the dog? What's she doing? Who's your good girl? Who's your good girl? No? Ah. <laughs> she was playing with it a minute ago. Guess she's not bothered. What's that? What's that? What's that? <laughs> she doesn't care. Right, um, so good morning everybody, good morning and welcome, I hope wherever you are in the world you're having a lovely Friday, uh, and yes, welcome to your Friday, and welcome to what, well, will soon be your weekend, I hope you, uh, yeah, I hope you had a great week. So, uh, hang on a second, I will actually mute the music just for a moment, because it's a bit loud, hang on a second, let me just turn it all the way down there just for a moment, um, so yes, uh, good morning, and, uh, yeah, so apologies for being late again. Uh, I woke up a bit later than usual, which is another way of saying I was lazy and I missed my alarm, and which also meant that I had to sort of stagger everything a bit later as per usual. So walking the dog and, you know, getting a bit of breakfast, which I actually skipped uh, because the dog walk took longer. Um, so, yes, um, I'm just going to kick start with a bit of uh, Stellaris, really, because my muse is a fickle thing, and for some reason I'm in the mood for a space strategy game. Um, so, yeah, so I'll get going in just a moment. I'm just going to get the, uh, hang on, just going to get a quick coffee. Hang on, bear with me just a moment, please. Who's your good gal? Yes, you are. Who's my good gal? G1. Right. <clears throat> ah, coffee, coffee, coffee. Thank you, Huang Hun. Thank you very much, Huang Hun. And Sir Lagalot and Happy Chap and Major Arsh, uh, Arsh, sorry, Arsh Lock. Thank you, all of you. Um, right, so before I get going, uh, just to give you a quick bit of status on uh, the latest YouTube video, uh, it takes the form of VR Pavlov. Uh, which is basically VR Counter-Strike, uh, and it's on its fourth week of work. So this is the end of its fourth week of work. Thank you, Black Lurk. Thank you very much, Black Lurk. If you're a patron or a Twitch sub, I sent out an update, uh, was it yesterday or the day before? I think it was yesterday, yesterday morning, um, in which I uh, sort of outlined precisely what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, but effectively for everybody else, um, the work is ongoing and I still need more time. So I'm just going to crack on and do my best to do uh, do my best to get it to you as soon as I can, really. Um, so, yeah, so YouTube continues as per usual. <laughs> She's foaming at the mouth because she loves these. Um, so, yeah, uh, not really a great deal going on this week, I suppose. Um, so it's been a bit of a... Uh, uh, what have we done? We've done plenty of RimWorld. Uh, I played some Holdfast yesterday. Uh, we're supposed to be doing Divinity on Sunday and Tuesday, but Digby hasn't been feeling very well. Uh, and also, for the same reason, we didn't do any Hearts of Iron on, on Monday. So it's really been uh, RimWorld and Holdfast uh, this week. But uh, yeah, this weekend, I imagine there'll be a bit of uh, Rocket League. And uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens, really. Uh, if I get in the mood for Stellaris, then maybe quite a bit of Stellaris. We'll see. Um... So, yeah, oh, thank you, Black Lurk. Thank you very much, Black Lurk. Have I bought the DLCs? I don't think so, Aether. Sorry, this has been my first time returning to Stellaris since, like, January or something. Um, just before they, they put live that big change. They put, like, a big, they put, like, a big patch change or something. Um, what about the video essay, Feta? So the last piece, well, the, 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 the previous piece, which was part 10 of 12 of the video, video essay series that you're talking about, uh, went live about four weeks ago. And it went live to the patrons and the Twitch subs because it wasn't a finished version. It was just a draft. Um, so there are draft versions for part 6 to 10, uh, which are really, again, they're not really finished. They're just kind of out so the patrons and the Twitch subs can go, yeah, we like it, or no, it's shit. 
and then I can adapt accordingly. Um, but I still have another two pieces to do on it before that series is finished. And then that series will go public simultaneously and the internet will hate me because they hate it. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Um, sorry, for those who have no idea what I'm talking about, I started doing an alternate uh, sort of video essay series uh, to diversify the content, and that scope ballooned a bit, unfortunately. I was expecting it wouldn't... I, I didn't expect it to be so big. So, um, unfortunately, it's, it's just kind of this side project that's a bit of... A, a kind of like my personal demon, because uh, it's I'm just really struggling to... Uh, struggling with it. Thank you, Prezies, and uh, Ag Aguagu. Thank you very much. Lulu? Sofa? Oh, she's dropped her treat. Hang on. Hang on. I'm going to reach this without getting my head in the frame. Ah, there we go. There we go. Right. Now you can sit there sit there and be a good girl, and I'm going to do a bit of Stellaris. Right. Uh, Daisy 1.0 will come out and, and validate all my points. Well, the, po the points aren't made. The points that I'm making, uh, Curious, are not temporary points. They're not like, oh my god, Daisy's broken, like all the others are saying. It's more an analysis of what makes Daisy work and an explanation of how both the Daisy standalone and many other games uh, in that sort of genre have not really understood uh, the nature of Daisy, how they, they focus on superficial things uh, or go into uh, extreme detail uh, for extraneous elements that, that don't really bring anything to the primary drive of Daisy or to drives, it's not just one, um, or, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, it, it's not really time sensitive, so it can come out like years from now and it'll still be fine. It's just I need to finish it, you know? Um, right, okay. So, yeah, on with Stellaris, basically. So, uh... This is your first stream, what to expect? Uh, probably a lot of failure, Stave Park. Um, this is just me chilling out before I get on with editing today. Um, and today I'm going to be chilling out with a bit of Stellaris. Um, now, I did play it back in January, but it's been so long that I can't remember anything. And also the game has changed quite significantly, so I'm probably going to suck, so please be gentle. Um, thank you, Demon, uh, Minius, and Ear one la and Aerith EU, and Big Bear Nowhere. That's very kind. Thank you, all of you. Right, so, let's start a new game. Now... The first stage that I need to do is I need to select what type of race I'm going to play as. I have quite a number of options, or I can make a custom one. So I could, uh, I have two factions of human humanity. One a sort of a democratic one, and the other one a, an offshoot, a, a sort of military dictatorship. Um, I, yeah, so these are basically pre-packaged empires. Um, I'm under no obligation to pick any particular one, so I might as well just make a custom one. Right, so, create new. Create new empire. Now... What should I go with? What, what are people leaning towards? Um, so your options this morning are humanoid, mammalian, reptilian, avian, uh, arthropoid, muscaloid, or fungoid. So I've got quite a few options. It's really just the aesthetic. It doesn't make any difference at all in terms of overall stats. People think avian, fungal, mammalian. Hmm. <laughs> it's a parrot. It's just a parrot in a spacesuit. Uh, for, see, people always say fungus, but I, I don't know. The fungus races are a bit, they're just kind of like an, a, a horse penis. It's just a, an amorphous blob, I suppose that's what a fungus is, really. Thank you, Leon, Leon the Professional. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, what did we do last time? We did, uh, we did human, yeah, this was, yeah, it was the, uh, the Empire of Dank, wasn't it? We were, we were the, what were we called? Like the Quarian or something. Um, yeah, what should we be this time? Uh, hmm. <laughs> That's just a wild boar. Some of these are just are just giant. Like, it's just a fucking fox. It's literally just a fox. Uh, 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 platypus. What the fuck is that? That's new. <laughs> Little snout. I like that one. Um, hmm. Reptilian. I can't decide. Bit basic that one. <laughs> Sorry, it's goofy face. Oh, is that female? Can I can I switch between? Ah, oh, no difference. Thank you, Joey boy. Thank you very much, Joey. Thank you. Wait, what am I doing? Back. No, go back. Back. Fuck. What am I doing? Oh, I see. Sorry. Um. Uh. Chameleon thing. I don't know. It's like it's like yeah, it's like death by choice, isn't it? Choice overload. Um, lots of people are saying go for the avians. Fungoid. Hang on, let me just go through them. Um, that's quite cool. I rather like that. Weird 
sort of, uh, what is it called? Like a, what are those things from D&D? Can't recall. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's also quite cool. Like a crab jaw thing. Yeah. <laughs> Wake you up in three hours, Mr. Gello. It is a bit like that, isn't it? <laughs> you, spend every, you spend all the time on the character creation. Um, <laughs> it's for, are they from Men in Black? The, the, the aliens obsessed with the coffee. Because it's a drug uh, where they come from. Uh, yes, I did. So technically this is my third empire, isn't it? I started off with the empire of horse cocks. Um, which was basically this thing, and then my second empire was the these things. So this is my third attempt at Stellaris. Um, I rather like that. Truth be told, that's pretty cool. Weird tentacle face people. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do people think? Do I like it or what, what do you think? Good, bad? I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, I, I like how in this in in Stellaris the 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 aliens are actual alien looking. They're not just you know. The, they don't have like the Klingon foreheads and that's it, you know? Like, that was what m one of my biggest complaints about Mass Effect. They're all just humans in various different shades of blue. <clears throat> it's like when uh, fucking Tali, what was it, in Mass Effect 3? You know, there's that picture of, of uh, Tali without her mask and it's just a model. It, like, they've, they've photoshopped a human model that they've got off the internet. And like gave her blue eyes and like three fingers. <clears throat> okay. People, yeah, and people like meh. All right, fuck it. I'm gonna go with it. Fuck you. Um, right. So in terms of our icon, what should we go with? Hmm. Again, it's it's, it's death by choice, isn't it? <laughs> Just too much. Do we have anything sort of? Uh, doesn't really matter, I suppose, does it? I could do better. Well, there's many choices, Penton. Uh, that's kind of cool. Bit Tyranid, though, isn't it? Uh, let's come back to the icon. Let's decide what sort of government we're going to have first. Um, all right, leave all that for a, a minute. Uh, what sort of world do we come from? Right, so what sort of... right? So, yeah, what is this type of creature? I don't think aquatic... It's certainly not based... Yeah, this isn't an aquatic creature. Maybe semi-aquatic. Um, so let's say ocean world, continental world, tro tropical maybe? Savannah world, arid world, desert world, arctic world, alpine world. Probably either tropical, continental, or alpine. People are saying arid. Why arid, though? It doesn't look like an arid creature. Hmm. Something swampy, I think. Like continental swamps. Hmm. Dry and woody, lots of forests. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Do I have that option? Hang on. Wet climate, rocky world with a nitrogen oxygen atmosphere, active and stable hydrosphere, great land mass, and separated by oceans with large with large climate variations depending on latitude and precipitation. Tropical. Humid, rocky world with a thick nitrogen oxygen atmosphere. Seasons uh, with significant pre precipitation are interchanged with dry periods. Most land masses are covered in dense vegetation. Uh, let's go with continental. A bit standard, really, but um, okay, so our, our, yeah, our alien race grew up on a continental world. Now, what was that world's name? And what was the name of its star system? So, feel free to come up with some ideas here. And not like silly ideas, like, you know, dick face, whatever. Like the star of Dickface. Like what? Hmm. What? What would it? Yeah. Let's get some names. What would be a good planet name? Could do something followed by Prime. So you know, like a name of the planet followed by Prime. Caviar, Uranus, Dickface. I knew I could count on you as always. Twitch chat. Uh, thank you, Jas Griffin. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uzalith. That's not too bad. Hang on. Yeah. Uzalith. That's a good starting point. Cyclon. Zigma. Sounds like a Sigma, doesn't it? Krill Prime. Uh. What is Lulu doing? Are you okay, honey? She looks bored. Um. Space Zimbabwe. Uh, 
Zenzara. Zenzara. Uzalith Zenzara. Hmm. Pravaris. I rather like Pravaris. Yeah. Oops. Pravaris. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll go with that. Pravaris. Thank you very much. Okay, so, and the star would be called... Pravaris. Well, what would the star be called? Pravaris Prime. Yeah, and then it's just the star of Pravaris. Okay. Yeah, the star is called Pravaris, and it's Pravaris Prime. Alright. Uh, starting solar system random. Oh, this is the nature of the star. We'll go with random. Alright. Okay, and, uh, what, yeah, this is just the aesthetic of the city. Uh, reptilian, avian, what are we, sorry? We're, um, we are arthropoid. Okay. Uh, whoop, species name. Oh, homeworld, city appearance, so arthropoid. There we go. Yep, that one doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so appearance is good, species name. So, Pravarians? Pravaran? Name, what are we? Pravaroid? Do we have another name? Can anyone think of anything clever? Uh, Prava. Prava. The Prava? Hmm, I don't know. That's not grabbing me. Privens. Priva. Hanuri. Kandar. Pravoiden. Hmm. Inoids. Pravari. Clavoids. Prada. Uh, Provian. Provian's not too bad. Provian. Provians. Pravian. Hmm. I like that. Provians. Almost sounds like Prothean. Yeah. Provians. Plural, Provians. Adjective, Provian. <clears throat> yeah, what do you think? Sounds like Proviant, Perennium, Probes, Provart. Sorry, just reading the chat. Hi there, uh, sorry, ZF, uh, ZF Quebec is in the chat, everybody. Feel free to say hi. Hi there, Quebec. I hope you're well. Hope you're having a lovely morning, sir. Yeah. Uh, this week's been pretty standard over here. Don't know what you... Well, I, I know you've been doing Warhammer, Quebec. Uh, over here, I've been doing lots of RimWorld. Played some Holdfast with Social and... Uh, who was it? Social and SWAT Knight yesterday. And it was good. Goddamn Digby for being sick. Otherwise, we'd be playing Divinity. Yes, yeah, so I hope you're having a lovely week, sir. Mm. Pro-V for the adjective. Yeah, that's... Yeah, Pro-V. Good shout. Yeah, who said that? Um, Th there is the one. Thank you. Hmm. My species name is... Yeah. Sorry. Provian. The pro... But, yeah, plural. Provians. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Quebec says, Subjects, please control yourselves. You're throwing, they're throwing themselves at the feet of Quebec. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Um, right, so don't really need to fill in the biography right now. I th think I can do that later, but all the same, it doesn't really matter. Um, right, so we are the Probian. And we come from Provaris Prime. Right, so trait list. Humanoid, leader names. Uh, oh, I see, ship prefix. Um, let's just pick standard machines. There's no machine race. Unless that's new. There's no machine race in Stellaris. Thank you, Small Rocket. Thank you very much, Small Rocket. There is? There is now? It's DLC. Oh, interesting. I was unaware of this. They've added a machine race. Wait, is it on the list? No. You can't play as them. What are they, AI or something? Huh. Interesting. Synth Dawn. 
I see. I'm not familiar with it. I guess I don't have it. Right. Um, fair enough. So, uh, I, I, mm, doesn't really matter for the minute. Let's just get into the game. Um, right, traits. Right, here we go. So this is where I'm selecting my actual government. And, uh, um, what, the, the traits of my particular species. So, I think I can pick... How did it work again? It was... Yeah, I, I like major and minor traits, was it? Yes, that was it. So I get to pick some traits, but I can offset some of the points with uh, weaknesses, if I want more, for example. <laughs> Deviants. Uh, these people are rebellious in nature and constantly trying to challenge the status quo. What would we be? So last time we played a, a quite a peaceful, scientific type race, didn't we? I'm not looking at these and thinking hive mind. What sort of race should we play as? Trait points left, trait picks left. I can pick a maximum of five, but those are my points, I think. Um, right. Uh, agrarian has a deep connection to the land. Expert farmers and gardeners. So we get a food improvement for the empire. Slavers. Hmm. Let me just let me just go through. In fact, I'll start in like the middle or something. Very strong. So are we physically strong? No, I don't think so. Quarrelsome. Well, whilst not inherently distrustful, members of this species are often socially combative. All right, we'll pick that, so we can be quite um yeah, we we we, we don't get along. Nomadic. Um, no, I don't think we're nomadic. Migration speed improvement, resettlement cost reduction. Sedentary. Uh, its members are reluctant to migrate away from where they grew away from where they grew up. Um, which increases our our resettlement cost. Uh, let's get that. So I'm sort of I'm getting penalties for the minute, aren't I? So what can we really get? Venerable. What's this? The species can grow to an age that commands dignity and respect. Uh, fleeting, resilient. Members of the species are psychologically resistant, resilient, and will fight like enraged brood mothers to defend their worlds. Physiologically uh, resilient. Sorry, not psychologically. Um, defense army damage. I see. So when our worlds are getting invaded, we can hold out longer. Um, yeah. We're probably quite resilient. Hmm. Charismatic. Members of the species have a special charisma. Are considered pleasant to be around. Uh, not sure about that. Talented. Members of the species are born with a natural, natural aptitude. Quick learners, leadership experience gain. Yeah, we're quick learners, definitely. We're very fast learners, I imagine. Let's go up here. Members of this species has a na have a natural incl inclination towards uh, sociological and biological studies. Sociology, even. Ah. I see these are just boosts to the different sciences, aren't they? Yeah, we'll say natural engineers. So our engineering's, uh, yeah, engineering uh, research progress is pretty good. Right, one trait point left, so we can't afford the really good ones. Energy credits. I don't know, I feel like a bit of a dick if I'm picking, if I'm min-maxing for stats. I, I prefer to pick, you know, almost a, a kind of like quasi roleplay in a way. As in, it's easy to just pick the same awesome stats. Rapid breeding. Yeah, we probably would breed rapidly, wouldn't we? The species reproduces at a very rapid rate, increasing population growth. Population growth speed plus 20. Uh... Can I go with that? Is that all right? One, two, three, four. With two minus. Is that not allowed? No, I think it is allowed. Okay. So, right. So we breed quickly, but we don't get along with each other. So we have a unit. Yeah, so a reduction to our unity output, which is a type of resource that we can use to spend on... Uh, I can't actually recall. Is it edicts and stuff? Hmm. It's been a while since I played this. Uh, we're quite sedentary, which means our migration speed and resettlement cost is quite high. So I think that's when we settle other worlds. Okay. It's not allowed? Okay, I can only have five traits. I see. Oh, I've got loads, haven't I? Um, uh, alright then. So let's get rid of one. So, let's get rid, of, get rid of the resilient one. Trait points left. Oh, I see, hang on. Can I, I, can, I can take a two-pointer. Is that what I say? Because I've got one trait point remaining. So let's take a two-pointer. Uh, natural engineers, rapid breeders. Am I reading that right? Hang on, where's natural engineers? Let me just put that back. So I see, so that's a one pointer. So what have, what have I got as two pointers? Mineral, yeah, so industrious. Members of the society, society, so of this species, oh my god, are known for their diligent and hardworking nature, always going above and beyond. There we go, cool. 
Okay, so we're hard workers, rapid breeders, quick learners, but uh, we also, well, we're quite attached to where we grew up, where we, where we were hatched, I guess, and also very quarrel quarrelsome with each other. Take intelligent. Wow, okay, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Actually, yeah. So engineering, physics, and society research output is much higher, I think. The species is highly intelligent and enjoys faster technological progress. Yep. Okay. On Provaris Prime. Right. We could spend half the stream on the fucking character creation at this rate. Now, in terms of... Oh, do we get to pick our government? Yes, pick the government next. So, what sort of government would we have? Democratic, plutocratic, constitutional dictatorship, or despotic empire? And then I think I can pick different, like, flavours of that, if that's correct. How does that work again? Civic picks. Uh, ethic points, civic picks. Hmm. Let's start in the middle. So, what do you think? Democratic, uh, oligarchic, dictatorial, or imperial? What sort of empire would... Well, what sort of government would this type of insect race have? I'm thinking oligarchical. So the power in a small handful of the wealthy, yeah, in the hands of the wealthy. I don't think imperial. Maybe? Lots of people are saying imperial. Really? Hmm. As long as I don't model America. <laughs> Xenophobic do genocide. Yeah, can we get a monarchy? Dictatorial. Hmm. So imperial governments are similar to di dictatorial ones, except that the throne is always inherited by a designated successor upon the ruler's death. Ah. Uh, I'll get an heir with random traits. Dictator. Holds an election upon ruler's death to select a new ruler. Oligarchy does make the most sense, to be honest. Hmm. Thank you, uh, works, uh, Wolf Circa X. Thank you, Wolf Circa. Thank you. Quarrelsome Imperial doesn't make sense. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Yeah, if we don't get along. Let's go dictator. Let's compromise. Let's go, yeah. Dictate, yeah, dicta yeah we're a dictatorship. Okay, so sorry, how does this work again? Ethic points, cost two, cost one. Okay, egalitarian, materialistic. I see, these are just stats boosts and different. So border friction reduction. Oh, no, wait, hang on. Uh, xenophobic, fanatical xenophobic. Oh, I see. So each one is a, is a, is an, a, an oomped version of the, of the lesser one. Spiritualistic, fa uh, fa fanatical spiritualist, militarist, Xenophobic, wait, xenophilic, sorry, my bad, I got them mixed up. Xenophobic, xenophilic, materialistic, pacifist versus, oh, I see. Ah, interesting. Uh, so we're not pacifists, certainly. Um, so let's go with militarist. So uh, war exhaustion gain reduction and fire rate improvement for our ships. We'll go with materialist. <clears throat> Robot upkeep, yeah, research speed. Oh, that's quite good, actually. Okay, let's go for two points in materialists. So, uh, fanatical materialists. So, although it hurts, we must grow up and put aside our outdated nation, uh, notions of morality. Uh, there's no divine spark granting special value to a living mind. No object has any intrinsic value apart from what we choose to grant it. Let us embrace the freedom of certitude and achieve maximum efficiency in all things. So, robot upkeep reduction and research speed improvements. Is there anything that we could take instead? Influence improvements, consumer goods reduction. Ooh. No, I think this is good. We're, we're a fanatically, fanatically materialist and militaristic faction. Okay. So we have, we have a dictatorship ongoing. And how does this work? Civic picks. I can pick two of them. Okay. Let's have a look. So some of them are already off the table because of my selections of government. Um... So, Core V system. This society considers it the absolute right of the state to decide where its citizens live and work. Resettlement costs, massive reduction to resettlement costs. 
Thank you, Callus. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Callus. Thank you. Cutthroat politics, edict cost, cost reduction. Yup. Distinguished admiralty. Admiral leadership cap plus two. Uh, efficient bureaucra bureaucracy. Core cis sector systems plus two. Oh, they still have that system? Oh, dear. Okay. Um, consumer cost reduction. What's the mining guild one? Plus 10% empire uh, mineral production. Could do. Ooh. That's pretty good. Police state. Uh, reduces unrest by 25% and piracy risk by 25%. They're give, getting rid of core systems in the next update. Thank fuck for that. Thank you, Quansom. Thank you very much, Quansom. Thank you. Yeah, so I know I keep mentioning it. Stellaris always feels like a good game. It, it's a great game in hidden beneath bullshit design decisions. You know, there, there's a great game in there. You just gotta, you just gotta like push past some really asinine design choices. Like you know, that are just just clogging up the works. Um, so it always feels like it's hampered by its own designer's inability. Thank you, Flying Gecko. Thank you very much, Flying Gecko. Um, research alternatives. No, hang on. Um, yeah, we'll go with mining guilds then. Okay, so cutthroat politics. Uh, right, so we have an edict cost reduction. So the political system of the, in this society is renowned for its intrigue. Power struggles, shady backroom deals, and cloak and dagger scheming are par for the course. Those who survive long enough to learn the game, however, tend to learn it well. And also the mining guilds. So several large mining guilds have reached a dominant position in this society. The government relies heavily on their support. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we are... I, yeah, so let's um, sort out our emblem. So we are a dictatorship from Pravian. Pravaris even. That's pretty good. We don't really have horns though, do we? Oh, it's, we've got a series of butt plugs on our flag. Um, thank you, Skaroosh. Thank you very much, Skaroosh. Should we go with that? Two butt plugs? Two, like, butt plugs, sorry? Um, what are they called? The fucking... Uh, I don't know what they're called. I don't know what... What's the name for them? You know, the the balls you put in the anus. Phrasing. Yeah, fuck it, whatever. Um, hang on. Primary color... Uh, uh, anal beats. Thank, thank you, my mind went blank there. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, can we get, like... Ooh. No. I was going to say, like, can we get, um... Like, the, a mat, like the alternating colors. Like, like a yin-yang type thing. Is there a white? Can I get a white? I rather like that. That looks pretty cool. Hmm. What if we had... Hang on. Two sets of blue. Yeah. Okay. Looking good. The Empire name. Wait, didn't we pick it? We did. Oh, the species name versus the Empire name. So we are the Provian. So we're the Provian Empire. Provian Collective? Provian... What are we? What should our name be? We're the Provian something. So we're a dicta dictatorship, or at least our government is. Hmm. <clears throat> Provian Hive, Provian Order. Provian Order is not too bad. I don't know. It, implies, it, it sounds almost like, like a, like a monkhood almost. Collective, <laughs> glorious state of Provia. Hmm. I don't know. Swarm? No, I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't like. If it's like swarm or hive or something, it, it sounds a bit cliche, you know. It sounds a bit like stock baddie. Um. Provian. Hegemony. Well, no, that implies oligarchy. Uh. Uh, Ascension, Domin Dominion, very good. 
Have I spelled that properly? The Provian Dominion. Yes, that's it. We are the Provian Dominion. <clears throat> Sorry, what would be the adjective? The Dominion? The Provian Dominion. Sorry, what... what? I'm sorry, in, uh, in what context does the game use the adjective? Sorry, where does it appear? Can, it, can anyone put it in a sentence? Like, is it on the, the ship descriptions or something? What, in, in what context does it appear in the game? <clears throat> okay, cool. Never happens. In text... The Dominion's politics are... Oh, I see. The Provian politics are... The adjective troops are on their way. The Provian... So it would be the Dominion, wouldn't it? So it would be... Yeah, the Dominion's troop. Yeah, so we're the Dominion. Okay. Well, hopefully we can change it later if it's wrong. Right, cool. Sweet. Okay, and we've already got our flag. Ship appearance, uh, we'll just go with standard uh, arthropoid. And the ruler, okay, so it uh, doesn't really matter, male or female. Thank you, Lemon Tart, thank you kindly. Okay, uh, Primark, uh, air title, male. What sort, of, what sort of name should we go with? It could be anything really, doesn't really matter. And then I get to change the... Oh, wow. Hey. <laughs> this, oh, the character creation is always so cool. So much so much attention to detail has gone into this. Um, Chairman. No, again, Chairman kind of implies... Yeah, it's, it's very oligarchical. Thank you, Guppy. Thank you very much, Guppy. <laughs> the over shrimp. Supreme Leader. Supreme Leader. Yeah, Supreme Leader. Thank you, Lawfot. Thank you kindly, Lawfot. Supreme Leader what? Who is the dictator of the Provians? What would his name be? Anyone got a good name? Dave. <laughs> Supreme Leader Dave. Uh... Da, 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 da. Lawf. Supreme Leader Loth. Uh, just going, just read. I am reading all the chat, don't worry. Cloth. Sloth. No, I like that. Supreme Leader Loth. Okay. Mainly because I just read the name from the chat. So, welcome, Lorth, one of my subscribers. You are the supreme leader of the Provian Dominion. I like this. Okay. So, let's... Uh, oh, fuck. Sorry. Can you bear with me just a moment? I just need to... Sorry. Hang on a second. Sorry, I just had to make a disgusting sound into a handkerchief there. Right, okay. So, uh, yes, so the Provian Dominion. Uh, so it's a totalitarian regime, dictatorial, with cutthroat politics, mining guilds. Uh, it's also quite militaristic, but it's also fanatically materialistic. Um, so, you know, obviously we... we what, what, what do we value? Sorry. Uh, so allows academic privileges, cannot use AI outlawing. Oh, yes, yeah, so we use heavily use lots of AI and stuff. So our robot upkeep reduction is quite significantly reduced, which is nice. Um, so we're quite quarrelsome with each other, but we're also quite sedentary, which means we like to stay where we live. Um, you know, we don't, we don't like to roam. Uh, we're quick learners, rapid breeders, and very intelligent. And we're being led by Supreme Leader Lorth on Provaris Prime. Right, let's play the bloody game. So this is where I'm going to suck, because it's been ages since i played this. Thank you, Zeladek. Thank you very much, Zeladek. Oh, yep, let's go with a... Yeah, let's go with a large, large galaxy... AI Empires, let's drop it down a bit. Let's go to nine. Uh, Fallen Empires, three. 
Uh, truth be told, maybe I should just leave it. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna leave most of it to be honest. Um, yeah. Unless, uh, am I missing something? I really oh difficulty ensign, captain, grand admiral. Well, I'm very new at this. Ensign the easiest. Yeah, we'll go with captain then. Captain. Change the shape. From what? Spiral. I don't know. <clears throat> Crisis difficulty set to times five. Is that good or bad? I see. You're telling me to up it. Okay. Uh, let's just. Uh, no, it's fine. Let's just get into the get into the game. Right. Okay. Can I not uh, add distraction? Oh well. Let's hope it's right then. Right, so the Provi uh, the Provian Dominion. Uh, so in the eons since the first primitive Provian communities took shape in the meadows and forests of Provaris Prime, our civilization has spread and prospered. Despite our rapid progression through the technological ages, as a species we were fragmented and inefficient. A new system emerged during these chaotic times that delivered us from the superstitious beliefs and brought order to society. Some resisted this change out of irrational fear, but after several pacification wars, they too became productive components of the greater whole. Now, after the discovery of a hyperspace network, the finest minds of the Provian Dominion have finished development on the first hyperdrives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. Greetings, Primarch. I am Vea, a prototype synthetic okay. intelligence developed by the finest minds of our civilization. Thank you very much, Ekis. Thank you kindly. I shall endeavor to perform my duties with the utmost efficiency. Uh, I'll probably leave him off for the moment. I could always come back to him. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave you off just You're for the moment. A terrible mistake. <laughs> I've not heard that one. <laughs> I'm sure he's right though. Okay, so welcome. Here we are on Provaris Prime. Now, this is right again. Please forgive me because I'm, I, I need to familiarise myself with the game again. It's been months and months. So, what's so? I think the first thing I do is I go to my technology, and yes, I have three scientists currently assigned to physics, society, and engineering. So, what I need to do is I need to begin research projects in these areas. Uh, for the most basic of things. So what's this? Sorry. So, yes, these are the different schools of research, aren't they? So, select a research uh, technology to research. Whenever we finish research technology, up to three new options will be generated. Oh yes. So it works in that tile system, doesn't it? So for each thing you research, it will randomly generate uh, the next three tiles, I think. So, Ober Ober uh, Oberkoid over here. So the fusion reactors, nuclear fusion. This is just a. Yes, this just unlocks a certain type of technology. The physics lab, that's something I can build on the surface of a world which will produce research points. And this is a power, so an upgrade to the regular power plants you can build on the worlds. Uh, let's unlock, yeah, let's unlock fusion reactors. So please begin the research. Nought, uh, so zero out of 750. So from, in my societal research, Defense, army, damage. Don't need that right now because we're not going to be suffering from invasions. The bio lab. So that's the same, but for uh, for bi uh, sorry for societal research um, instead of physics research built on the planet. Farming subsidies. Yes. Uh, research this. So this will allow me to build a better farm on the surface of each planet. And what's this? Engineer engineering research. Basic strike craft. Uh, engineering facility. Armor for our ships. Uh, go with the engineering facility. Okay, so research is now underway. And the next most important thing is I need to pee. Be right back.
Ah. Right, I'm back. Hello, sweet pea. Are you bored, my darling? Are you bored? I'm so sorry. Yeah? You've got loads of chew toys and treats, though. You should be plenty entertained. And you've just gone for a walkies, haven't you? So you have had plenty to do this morning. I know. <laughs> yeah, she's good. She just um, she just wants attention. Look at all these nipples. Look at all these nipples. Huh? Yes, who's a good puppy? Yes, I know. A good gal. Right, okay. You just sit there and be a good gal. Do we have a treat for you? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Oh. Good cat. Right. So, uh, yes, for those just joining the stream, uh, welcome everyone. I'm just doing a bit of Stellaris. Um, so, I'm just chilling out, really, uh, before I get on with work today, as per usual. So, I've got another 40 or so minutes, but I might play a little bit longer because I was quite a bit late. Um, right, so here we are at Pravaris Prime, which is our main homeworld right here. We have a single moon called uh, Verl Zajet. Right, Pravaris Prime. So what have we got here? So I just need to remember how this game works. So yes, each of the uh, energy... So yes, I've got energy, minerals, food, influence, and unity, if that's correct. Yes, and each of these will tick up... Oh yes, and my research points, which are obviously being spent on the research themselves. Um, so the first things first is I, is I think yes I, yeah I did I cut my finger because I was stupid um, right first things first I think I need to send out a research vessel so what have I got military fleet uh, so is this it fleet size 3 out of 20 that's not it here it is a science ship and a construction ship so what's the science ship doing hello so I need to send this off performing research don't I so Currently on board, we have a Provian female called Obes Tazar. Who is she, sorry? Uh, how do I check out who she is? Wasn't there a... Leaders, is it leaders? Ah, here we go. So, I've got three society research engineering... Ah, there we go. Okay, busy commanding the Pass Elag. Which is my science ship. Good. Okay, I was about to try and assign one of my leaders to that science ship. So it seems that it's already it's already done. So this leader here. Let's rename them so I can keep better track of them. Uh, any volunteers? I need a, a leader of my science vessel over here. Any volunteers out of my Twitch subs? Mm. I will just quickly pick them. So these are the specific leaders that can fill other spots in government. Okay, I'm just going to make this quick. Let's go with... Uh, thank you, Mr. R. Rax. Thank you very much. Right, this is Noxeron. Welcome, Noxeron. Okay, I'll quickly name the other scientists. So my engineering scientist will be... So the one working on the homeworld in the engineering research will be... Megan... Wait, Megan Lodon? Is that how you spell it? Fuck, where'd she go? Yeah, Megan Lodon. Okay, my societal scientist will be... Let's have a look. Kiros. Welcome, Kiros. Actually, we should probably get like a... Cool. I think we should get like a prefix on the on the scientist names. Um, thank you for Nima. Thank you very much for Nima. Uh, cool, salty river. Cool, Kiros. Cool, Megan. Cool, Noxeron. I'll do different prefixes for different types of leaders, admirals and shit. Thank you, Duhast. Thank you very much, Duhast. Thank you. Right, uh, and who's this? Cool Ryle over here is a governor. Uh, we'll, we'll not have Ghoul. Has, so, governor of what world? My home world, maybe? Yeah, busy governing the core sector. Okay. Um, Mantazo. There we go. Right, so this will be Kith. Very home world there. Kith Mantazo. Okay, as the commander of my home world. Right, so. Next step. Mining station. Nope. Uh, the, right, so the vessel here, the Pass Elag. Let's just be the uh, 
So I need to send that off gathering. Uh, it needs to investigate anomalies and search the... Are these scouted? They look scouted. How does one do that again? I right click and then say... So there's Pravaris in the galaxy. Okay, there's our Dominion. How does one do that? Disband... That's been so long. Uh, I, I wanted to search the local... Um, the home sector for anomalies. The home sector is already scouted. Is it? Shift click. Nope. It's already done. Yeah, I think it's already done, isn't it? Because, look, I can see the resources. Okay, well, we'll send it off then. So, right-click the star. Uh, entering orbit. Now, we'll, we'll send it off to a new... We'll send it off to a new thing. Explore... Uh, yes, yeah, survey. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, so please go to... Actually, go a bit closer. Go to this one. Survey that system. Okay, so I'm sending the science ship off to survey that system. Is that... Am I going mad? They weren't. They didn't have these lines before, did they? They must have done. I must be going crazy. Sorry. Okay. So there are now there are lines that will tell tell me where I can go. No way. It... My brain is malfunctioning. I have no memory of that. Hyperspace lanes. Was that always there? Or am I going mad? It's new. It's by default. They removed all other travel system and it's all just hyper lanes. Okay. Right. It does look strange. Um, never mind. Right. Okay. Um, so, uh, right. Construction ship. Uh, right. So the... Yeah. Who's this? It's just a random construction ship. Uh, let's just move you over there for now. Provirus Station. This is my what, strange position for it. So this is one of my uh, starports, I believe. Okay. Provirus itself, surface, so how many have I got here? One, two, okay, so I've got a number of, I've got some slums that are generating minerals. No, they're not, they're generating food. We can clear these for a cost. Okay, so effect, sorry, to explain. So uh, this is the surface of uh, Provirus, and these uh, individual tiles represent uh, elements of the population that I can move. Now, based on what I build in the individual tiles, I will get bonuses. For example, this is a farm, a hydroponics farm. And uh, it's going to give me five food per, like, tick or whatever is it, it is in the game. The food is represented up here. So currently we've, we've got a surplus of plus two, uh, which means uh, I think there's also a population happiness boost or something, if there's a surplus. Um, we're producing ten and consuming eight units of food. Um, thank you, uh, Haradani. Thank you, very, thank you very much, Haradani. Now, what were these pluses? Oh, yes, adjacency effects because of the planetary administration buildings. So, yeah, buildings nearby get a pro productivity output. So it's about trying to stack your planets in such a way that you... Uh, one, t one tick is one month. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, kindly, sheep. Um, yeah, so it's about trying to arrange your planets in such a way for maximum efficiency whilst taking taking into account the nature of the terrain that you're building on and of course some of them have uh, problems such as industrial wasteland or or maybe even radioactive uh, patches if there was say a nuclear war on that world which happens actually i've seen that happen and thank you neko mansa <laughs> thank you very much neko thank you yeah. right so mining networks hydroponics farms should i build anything can i build anything um what do i need I suppose more food wouldn't hurt. Research, really? I, I guess? Uh, what have I got in the other worlds for a second? Oh, hang on. Can I build anything on the moon? No, it's not actually inhabited right, inhabited right now. Um, okay. So, gas giants. Okay, toxic world. A rocky, toxic world. No, we can't, inha we can't build anything there. Okay. Mining station. I see we built a mining station to take advantage of the energy, maybe? I think. And. Okay. Right, so. Oh, yeah, the planets I can colonize have a green icon. Well, all the same, I just need to kind of let my. Um, 
let my uh, research ship fly. Okay, let's also take my, uh, well, my corvettes here and send them off. Now, do I have an admiral to assign? And if not, can I recruit one? So I can assign it to the ships that are going, yeah, but, oh, hang on, we don't have enough energy. Okay, no, I need to wait all the same. Right, let's send them, let's send them off regardless. So send them here, please. Oh, fully crewed science, oh, we need to wait until the science ship explores it. All right. Okay, so unpause the game and here we go. So the Pravian Empire begins. Thank you, Osc uh, Oscar Tar. Thank you very much, Oscar Tar. Love you too. No homo. You gotta say no homo, bro. Otherwise, it's gay. Uh, right. Hmm. Oh yes, I have a construction ship, don't I? Should, can I build something there? So there, there are physics research points. Uh, Propriety station. Uh, military fleet, civilian. Construction ship. Here it is. Uh, so, build a research station for 90 minerals, which with a monthly upkeep. Yeah, but we got. Yeah, let's do it then. So, p please build that there. Thank you, Rudy. Thank you very much, Rudy. Oh fuck! No, no, cancel that. Come over here. Build a mining station here to get more minerals. What's that there? Oh, I guess that's the mining station. Make sure my ships are docked. Uh, as the, yes, that's good. Good shout. Sorry. Yes, get my ships in orbit around the world otherwise they will cost me uh maintenance points or something like energy mm. okay is it do i have them actually go into the hangars how does it work again home base orbital bombardment attack targets i can't recall anyone remember around a star base ah there we go They need to orbit the space station, not the planet. Okay. Oh yes, it's coming. Yeah, it's coming back to me steadily. So these military points will represent the actual tactical strength. Well, the the, yeah, the tactical power of that fleet as it engages another one. So you can have a quick. So like, if your fleet has 500 and they have 500, you're probably going to lose a fuck ton as you move into attack. These star bases can also shoot back, so they make make well, they make quite potent defensive points. Um, right, so my science ship has arrived. It's probably cooling down its hyperdrive. Nope, it's already arrived and it's scanning the planets. Good, good. Right. Okay. Hmm. Yes, indeed, veteran. I do, uh, I don't know what ball-in means, sorry. Uh, but no, I do dislike, uh, sponsorship and adverts and shit. Never have, never have been okay with it, so I avoid it as best I can. Well, as best I can, entirely. You'll never catch me selling your shit because I fucking can't stand it. it. Makes me so angry. Maybe it shouldn't. It really shouldn't, to be honest. I'm just a grumpy old fuck. To each their own. Okay, so Provaris Prime. Should I be building something? Spaceport build. Yes. What, what do I need to build? Construction complete. Oh, mining station has been built. Let's build a second science vessel. So for 100 minerals and 60 ticks. There we go. Yeah, we got the minerals. Okay. Right, so now let's fly over here. So there are some minerals available on that moon. So construction ship, could you come over here and build this here? Uh, oh, oh, no, I think we're already exploiting it. Uh, are we? I guess we are. Uh, build a mining station. Not collected. I'm confused, sorry. Build a mining station for 90 mineral. The green numbers already have the... Oh, I see, do they? Oh, cool. Alright, so it's already been exploited. So this energy one is not then. Well, we'll get it then. We'll get some energy. There we go. So the construction ship goes off to build. Is it the middle mouse to zoom directly to the ship? No, I can't recall. Construction complete. Okay, the spaceport of Provaris Prime has finished building another science vessel. So let's send it off over here. Uh, unknown. Yes, that's why I want you to go over there. We need a fully crewed science ship. Oh, darn. Do I need to have a scientist on board the thing? Is that the case? I need a scientist on board the thing? Okay, the cool Noxeron uh, is just going around here. 
bottom left the sign leader, but I don't think I can afford another scientist. Can I? Uh, recruit. Uh, for 200 energy. No, I can't really afford one. Well, we'll just wait. We'll, it won't be long until we have sufficient. Okay. So, yeah, let's just explore the local space. And uh, just build up as best we can. Build energy plants. That's a good shout, isn't it? Yeah. Down to the surface. So what can we build down here? So what's this here, then? So sprawling slum. Uh, slum? Slum. Cleared in 100 ticks. Cost 100 energy to remove it. Minerals are beneath this tile. I guess we can't access, uh, access them yet. Um, temperate forest. Okay, let's just build... Wait, I, don't complete. I don't have the surplus. Oh, I do have the surplus population. Oh, no, it's growing. This one's growing. Uh, okay, I guess we're just going to wait a moment. So how long until... How long until this the population expands? Well, we're fast breeders. Does it tell me? Growth 14 out of 48. It's growing, but it will not produce any output. Uh, just going to wait, I guess. What's this, sorry? Oh. Nothing on the situation log. Thank you, uh, Lydeck. Thank you very much, Lydeck. Thank you. Cool, good shout. Thank you. Holding shift, polar bear. Thank you. Ah, I see, yes. The green bit on the number now. Right, so we're getting some uh, an increase in energy. So let's just wait a moment, and then I can get another scientist on board this science vessel. Hold the mouse on the blue bar. Oh, I see. Thank you. So it's growing at 1.3 per month. Growth progress. Sweet. Cool. So that's the population growing on that tile. And then we'll have a, a group of workers to system reassign. Survey complete. Okay. So a system, which is Bellatrix over here, has been fully surveyed. And it, yeah, it's a bit rubbish, to be honest. Not a great deal here. Empty moons with no resource. A bit of uh, physics research and some minerals on that moon. But it's pretty shit, so let's move on. So let's send the science vessel over here. Let's find some nice, habitable, uh, temperate worlds that we can send our people. Send our... well, expand. Build star bases, build planets. Thank you, Paint04. Thank you very much, Paint. Thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, what's the quick button to switch between... Worlds... Send my construction ship to tail the science ship so we can quickly build mineral. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Um, so here's the construction ship. So I think we've exploited everything that we need to exploit here. So let's just move it on to Bellatrix. We'll probably rename the systems as we go. Might as well do that now. Stand by. Oh, no, wait. I can't rename it until I've claimed it. It's just a, an empty system. I need to have something there, I believe. System surveyed. Okay. Yes, I need to claim it, don't I? Uh, okay, I can afford a scientist now. So let's go over to the other science vessel, which is this one here, which is currently sleeping next to Provaris Prime. Uh, assign leader, recruit scientist. Let's go with... So what have we got? Research speed materials, research speed propulsion, research speed void craft. Uh, that's their age, that's their cost. Recruit. Okay, so this scientist, where is he? Physics? Here. So this is going to be the scientist cool. Thank you, Swagaton. Thank you very much, Swagaton. Any volunteers who wishes to join the Provian uh, Dominion? Why no PUBG was signed? I was unaware that they were playing PUBG. No hey, social. Set of socials in the chat. Huh? What? Uh, it, sorry, it's too much text there, social. Tell me later. Or in a minute. Right. Let's go with... Anti... Mortem. Is that how you spell it? Yep. Anti Mortem. So probably just Cull Anti. Right. You've been assigned, Cull Anti, to this science vessel. Your orders are to go to this system here and survey it in the name of the Dominion. Go. Hmm. 
Sure, sure, Mel Melancholic? Yes, indeed. I'm not really aware of their individual special uh, specializations just yet. Okay. Right, so they're underway. We've not met any other intelligent life forms yet. Okay, the science vertex uh, yes, it's traveling over there first and it will go over there. Okay. Nope, that's my construction ship, isn't it? It's powering down its hyperdrive. So, now that we've arrived here, let's build a mining station. Uh, no, wait. It's not within our borders, of course. So, I need to either build a star base. It's not worth it, though. There's nothing... There's fuck all here. It's like next in... It's like... It's not worth it. Mass extinction. Our first stumbling steps into the void beyond Provarius Prime were not motivated solely by curiosity or a desire to conquer the unknown, or uh, a need to leave our marker on the galaxy. The biosphere of Provarius Prime has undergone rapid changes in the past few centuries, and prominent scientists warn that Provarius Prime may be faced with the beginnings of a mass extinction event. That cyclical purge of life uh, that is, ir is inseparable from planetary existence in the greater cosmos. A research plan has been put together to study a number of planets rendered uninhabitable by major astronomical incidents or planet-bound catastrophes. We hope that by reconstructing these events, a similar fate may be avoided for Provaris Prime and the Provian race. It falls to you, as supreme leader, a leader of the Provian Dominion, to ensure that this expedition is carried out. Consult the situation log for details. For a Provi future. Begin the mass extinction. Sorry. Begin the mass extinction. Begins the mass extinction through the ages event chain. Sorry, we're not beginning. Situation log updated. Right, so we have a quest effectively. So, to avoid potential apocalypse on Provaris Prime, we must study the effects uh, that major calamities have had on other planets. Find fi uh, five mass extinction reconstructions. We have found none currently. So I guess they're. Oh no! Stand by. They've been revealed somehow. Okay, so we need to go to these worlds and study what happened to the remnants of those civilizations. Or species, or whatever. Hmm. Okay. So, let's continue. It reminds me of, uh, sorry, for some reason in my brain, just uh, the memory of Spore popped in. Do you remember Spore? Uh, by, who was it? Was it Masis? And then it, it, they basically had this, uh, this sort of final galactic game in the end where you're sort of exploring and building planets and it was like oh no this great race is causing uh, mass um, mass extinctions who could they be oh no this great mysterious evil race you meet them for the first time and they're fucking little chihuahuas or something it was, it was fucking I was like really that like this type they look ridiculous like insofar as an alien race is concerned and my my race in Spore was like this, this massively aggressive uh, angry like genocide causing race. It was like that that's the enemy. Oh yeah, Spore was super disappointing. Holy shit. Um, thank you, most random nerd and Hans Lichten Lichtenstein. Thank you both of you. That's very kind. Thank you. Right, what are we waiting on? Um So there's a sur yes, sur yes, yeah, surveys are being conducted, one here at Pollux. Right, so Kul Antimortem is moving from planet to planet, scanning what he can. Yeah, red dwarves. Ooh. What's all this? Nice, pretty. Thank you, Itchy Scott. Thank you kindly, Itchy. Thank you. Okay. And the Noxeron is going around doing the same. Hi there, or Auron. Hello. Yes, I'm in the mood for space strategy right now. It was either going to be this or endless space. Right. So now we're just waiting. Uh, how much time do I have? Sorry, I'm, I need to be aware of the time. So I've got about an another 19 minutes or so, officially. Until I need to get on with my job. Which is editing videos that will go on YouTube. Hmm. Okay, another world has been surveyed. Uh, where's my construction ship? It's waiting here. Uh... Okay, I mean, we're accruing quite a few minerals here. Can I do something with this? There's no real point building up a huge military fleet right now. I mean, uh, armies. So these are armies I can build on the surface to defend the world from uh, planetary invasion. Um, 
build, construct buildings. System survey complete. Yeah, I might as well just start building. I mean, I, the population will grow in time. Thank you, Sea Angel. Thank you very much, Sea Angel. Uh, so, temperate forest. So, we get physics research two per turn there. Um, basic science lab. We can't specialize in any just yet. There's nothing here. Let's build something where there's nothing. Um, let's build a hydro... No. Basic science lab. And same here. And same here. Again, we can change them later. Let's just get some research points. Okay. And the population will move... Well, once it's grown, we'll move over here. A leader has gained a level. So the cool... So cool Noxeron aboard the Noxeron research vessel has now got a level. System surveyed. Pollux. My research vessel is awaiting fresh orders. Please move to this sector and survey it. Hmm. Right. My research ves vessel is moving to the edge of the system to enter hyperdrive. Okay. Can I do anything? Skill 2 out of 5, experience 12. Okay. Is this my first playthrough? No, it's my third. But it's been some time. A lot of time. Like the last time I played this was January or something. So I think I've got about 28 hours so far. So it's not much. Mm. We have a binary star system. <clears throat> cool. Right, what do I need to do now? Um, construction ship is still sitting idle. Well, the trouble... I don't want to build starports where the resources are shit. Especially if our our uh, influence is going to grow naturally over time. So we don't need to build starport, starport, starport. You know, because this planet is going to go whoop and, and consume much of the other territories. Yeah, I suppose we could speed up time, couldn't we? Oh, wrong button. Da, 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 da. There we go. Science vessels are doing their thing. What's a binary star system? Two stars that are caught in, uh, well, in close proximity to each other's gravity well. Which are surprisingly common in the galaxy. We, we've got a, it's not, it's not accurate to say that our star, as in Earth, uh, the Sol system, it's not accurate to say that we have a rare star, but it's certainly uncommon. We have a main sequence solo star, a single star, whereas there's a lot of binaries out there. Hell of a lot of binaries. Hmm. Uh, right. Inactive buildings. Oh, yes, of course. So I've finished building the research stations here, but we don't have a population to actually man it. Um, Anomaly found. Ooh, interesting. So, B134845, the Zarmaton system. Spacecraft remains have been detected. Bits and pieces of metal are strewn across B134845 surface, encircling what looks like a hulk of a ship. The wreckage appears deserted, but energy readings remain. Challenging difficulty. will take a certain amount of time. Um... The level of an anomaly reflects the expected complexity of researching it. The assigned scientist's relative skill level determines how long it will take for them to research the anomaly. This is Antimortem, my newer scientist. Hmm. Wait, hang on. F Fink says it doesn't work like that anymore. You need an outpost in every system to own it. Outposts don't cost a monthly influence. Oh! Okay, so it's changed? Outpost, uh, outposts don't cost a monthly influence upkeep compared to old star bases. Outposts can be upgraded to star bases. Oh, okay. I did not know this. So there has been a big change. Thank you, Hardtrox. Thank you very much, Hardtrox. Hmm, thank you, Finks. Uh, hang on. Leave, leave it be for the, leave it be for the minute. Don't touch that if it's challenging. Um, I don't want to lose the scientist. All right. In which case, we might as well just build an outpost then. If they, if they don't cost us any, what, what was it, Unity or whatever before. So build... Oh no, hang on, they do. It costs... Oh, Christ. Influence. Eh. How much? Oh, I don't know. Oh, fuck it. Build it. Right. So we found an anomaly on the Zarmaton system. 
I need habitable worlds, though. They cost a little money to maintain. But only once. It doesn't cost you money after that. Okay. You don't lose scientists anymore. It just Really? Wow, quite a lot has changed. The hyperspace lanes, the outposts. You don't lose scientists to anomalies. Thank you, the Dutch beard. I should just be quiet. Every time I, everything I'm, I'm explaining is turning out not to be the case. <laughs> uh, okay. Right. Oh, good. This population is ready. Please, wait. No, it's not. Is it? Oh, it's, that's the happiness level, not the growth. Yes, please move them over to uh, this position. So they're currently unemployed, but in a minute they're going to be manning this research station. So that's the anomaly. Just leave it be. Oh, tradition available. Fuck. So I get the ability to add a tradition. Where does one do that again? Traditions. Here we go. Oh, yes. So, truth be told, I never got too far into this. I never really... I was supposed to sit down and have a good read of it, but I, I never really did. Um, diplomacy, supremacy. What's a good starting point for your, your race's traditions? Expansion? Where's expansion? Uh, colon colonization fever seems to have gripped the populace. Complete. So capital buildings now produce one additional unity. That's kind of rubbish. New colonies start with one additional population. Discovery. Lots of people are saying discovery. Starbase upkeep reduced by 20%. Starbase influence cost in uh, reduced by 10%. Discovery. Survey speed increase. Wow. Okay. System survey complete. Research alternatives increased by one. And our science ship. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Um, so to boldly go, a new age of exploration is upon us. As we once mapped the surface of our home world, we must now brave new terrain. Space. I don't think that counts as terrain. There is a galaxy full of wonder waiting to be discovered. System survey and complete. And death through exposure to the vacuum. But okay. Uh, right, let's do it. So, we can purchase. No, we can't. Yes. Oh, fuck. That's just ado adopting it, isn't it? Oh, hang on. No, that, that's got a... Yes? Hang on. Finisher effect. Adopting all discovery traditions. Oh, so I've got to wait before I can purchase the next one. Okay, never mind. Right. So I've got to wait until I've got sufficient uh, unity points, which are being gradually... Uh, I think uh, I think the government building on your homeworld or other homeworlds is um, other worlds is uh, steadily increasing your unity. What's this? Sorry, um, system surveyed. Okay, science ship. The knocks are on. Please move on to the next system. I could probably queue them up actually, shouldn't I? Survey that one. Survey that one. Just go off surveying if you please. Thank you very much. We. And the other one has done the same. Cool. Uh, right. Yep. Just survey, 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 survey. Off you go, off you go. Find me shit, if you please. Okay, as for our construction ship at uh, Bellatrix. So, have we finished making... That's not it. Thank you, Buller Baller. Thank you kindly, Buller. So, we finished making a starbase. So, military power... So, that's quite small. 100, uh, 168... Okay, but it's not costing me... It's not costing me shit. Okay. Well, now that we've got this place, let's... Uh, build a mining station. And also a research station. I see. Okay, in which case, we might as well build a uh, another construction vessel. So long as we can afford it. So at Provaris Prime, go back to here and build a construction ship. Uh, the Cura class. Uh, for a hundred... Build, build two. Hmm. Okay. So for those just joining the stream, I'm just steadily uh, starting my third playthrough of Stellaris. Construction complete. Uh, and but it's been some time, so please go easy on me. I'm trying to remember everything, but it's been quite some time. And I was never that amazing at it to begin with. To be fair. Inactive buildings. Um, so, yes, we have two, so uh, a couple of basic science labs which do not, well, one of them has a population that's growing, the other one has nobody, so it's just in, it's been mothballed, waiting for a population to build the thing. Um, okay. Show. 
What's my next step? I've got quite a bit of energy. Inactive buildings. Yep. Okay. Bravari Station. The shipyard is building construction vessels. Um, I've still got this military fleet that doesn't have a leader assigned to it. Can I get an admiral? I can. Actually, I can afford one. So let's get one now. Um, so, cool pox of Probian female. Fire rate improvement and sublight speed improvements. Evasion chance and sublight speed improvements. Ship hull points and ship weapon damage. Um, evasion and sublight speed. Let's go with... Let's go with you. Okay, we have an admiral. Let's assign it to this small fleet of corvettes. Okay, so this admiral is going to be... So Kith are the governors. Kul are the scientists. So who sh So what should we do now? Kith, Kul, and... Khan. Right. No, it's not Khan. Khan. Um, right, so who wishes to be uh, Khan? So th this admiral. Any volunteers? I need an, I need an admiral for the Provian uh, Dominion. Who wishes to join the Empire? Thank you, Bad Wolf. Thank you very much, Bad Wolf. Thank you. Who's going to be my admiral? Let's go with... Pick a name, pick a name. Uh -huh. So just going up and down the list. Uh -huh. Let's go with you. Okay. Okay. Rogue Duchess. Okay, Khan Rogue Duchess. Do you mind if I just call you Duchess? Khan Duchess? If that's alright. Because you know, this is going to be a pain if I kept calling you Rogue Duchess. So Khan Duchess over here. Okay, she is 52 and she's being assigned to uh, what's going to be uh, the Duchess fleet. Uh, so hang on a second. Attack Swarm. Okay, right, so there's only three ships and they're only really Corvettes, so they're kind of shitty. Uh, so what am I really doing with it? I mean, there's no pirates to destroy. Um, so I guess I'm just going to send you... I don't know what... There's trouble. I don't know what I'm doing with it. We can't send it off to places that we haven't explored, so... Hmm. Any ideas? I suppose we could just start adding ships to the fleet. Uh, science vessels, colon... Oh, no, I can't even do that, evidently. Uh, is that because we don't have a... Wait, am I being dumb? Build. Yeah, I thought we could... Do we not have the same pattern that these ships are made out of? Hang on. Where, where are they? They're here. Here, here, here. Duchess's fleet. Corvettes. Wrong menu. Wrong menu. Starbase. Oh, I see the Starbase, not the civilian Starbase. My bad. Uh, okay, so 104. Yeah. Oh, we can only build, add one. Oh, fuck it. Right. Yeah, where's it going to go? Uh, it's making its own one. No, I want it to join this. Well, I can just link them up in a minute. We can merge them. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. Into orbit around the station. We're just going to add ships to uh, to Duchess's fleet. Early on, my fleet is just, just for pirate protection. Yeah, I wanted to get uh, Khan Duchess some experience. Some levels by destroying pirates. Ooh, hello. A world has been detected over here. So that is a, an, a, an arid world, I believe. Yes, an arid world. It's... Construction complete. Okay, not yet surveyed. But it's been detected at a distance. Okay, so yeah, the Noxeron is going to carry on and do that. Okay, construction ship is ready for deployment. Let's move it over to this area here. Um, actually, yeah, go there. And my other construction vessel is waiting, waiting orders. Go here, please. 
So I'm just moving construction vessels behind science vessels to build these small outposts. Complete. The Provaris Starbase has finished its, its construction queue. So it's finished making construction ships. So I have two science ships and three construction ships. Uh, a leader has gained a level. Cool Antimortem, my other scientist aboard the research vessel, which isn't named after him, but should be. Right, sweet. Carry on. Keep expanding. So as you can see, this is our influence level, which determines the boundaries of our empire. Bigger the population. Uh, no, sorry, it's not population. What is it? It's um, I can't remember what determines the, ed the edge of that. Construction complete. Construction. Uh, construction ship is ready. Wait. No, sorry, that's uh, Bellatrix. Okay, so one of our construction vessels has finished over here. It's finished making the mining. Yep, so there's pretty much nothing else to build here. I'll move it on to the next sector. Go up to Pollux, please. Move there. Okay. Can we rename this star now? We can, now that we've claimed it. Right, uh, any volunteer for, uh, to have this star named after them? Feel free to raise your hand. Also, I'll name the construction ships as well, just because. Why not? Just a bit of personalization. <clears throat> okay, I'll just make it quick though, because obviously if we keep pausing it to do it, it's going to take forever. Um, right. So this world, this red dwarf over here, is going to be the world of... Anomaly found. Oh, ignore that for a minute. Uh, hi, Nep. Nep's in the chat, everybody. Zay Nep. <coughs> No, 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 no. This is a this is a, a red dwarf net. You need a red giant because you're fat. Right. Okay. Let's go with uh, Izatar. This is the star of Izatar. Very good. I hope you're well, Nep. I hope you, I hope you had a lovely week. Okay. Uh, let's go here. Right. Nep says, "Excuse me" in capital letters. <clears throat> what? Come on. <laughs> ah, dear. Uh, right, so the construction ship, let's go with, uh, X, oh god, your name's a nightmare, Phoenix. Um, fuck, how do you do your name? How do you do it? Is that it? It's a nightmare. I think that's it. Phoenix, uh, construction, sh uh, so the next construction ship over there will be... Energetic bum. Oh, sorry. Making a pig's ear of this. Okay, and then the last construction ship will be Tebow Baggins. There we go. Okay, right. So for those just joining the stream, the uh, Empire of the Provian uh, of the Provian Dominion. Empire of the, the, Domin the Dominion is expanding gradually. Uh, I'm sending my research vessels out to various different sectors to look for resources with construction ships just behind them looking for well, places to build. Um, so this construction vessel has arrived at this red dwarf. Please build a uh, star base. <clears throat> okay, for 75 influence and 100 minerals. Okay. And we have another one, so Tebow Baggins, his construction ship has arrived at anomaly this star system. Oh, hang on, I just need to handle these anomalies. Um, so, there's a significant... So, who is this? This is the uh, Hilji system. Uh, the Cool Noxeron has arrived. Uh, there is significant scarring on the surface of this world in a pattern that cannot be natural. From orbit, the massive rifts almost look like writing. Hmm, huh. okay. It's routine difficulty. Won't take too long. Please begin research, so cancel your survey mission to perform some research on that world. In addition, is this the same one? Hmm, no, this is a different one. No, it's, it's sorry, it's the same, it's the same sector. Where is this, sorry, show me. It's over here. Atmospheric readings from Hill G3 do not match simulated projections. Again, conduct the research. I might have to order the, oh shit. I think I just stopped the research on the writing. Okay, so these two planets have some strange properties and we found 
no, it's the same place. It's over here. The arid world here. Okay. Right. Research uh, complete. Uh, oh, good. We finished researching the engineering facility Mark 1, which means we can now build a building on a planet's surface, which will gradually generate engineering research points instead of just one point in all three. So instead of a research lab that would generate physics, engineering, and societal research per tick, this one will generate, I believe, two research uh, engineering points and... And none of the other, or one of the other? I can't quite recall. I'll, I'll check in a moment. So, advanced instrumentation allows for the study and practical application of physics systems at nanometric scales. Okay. Okay. Engineering research requires a new task. So now, if I go to the research screen, which is here, I can tell uh, Megalodon over here to begin research on something else. Now... Uh, what the game will do, it will then pull three different tiles up in front of me, I believe semi-randomly uh, from the list, like a shuffling a deck of cards. So now I have the choice between these three. So I've researched the uh, engineering factory on the surface. So what shall I do? Building, ooh, assembly patterns, building speed improvements by 25%. Quite a significant cost though in terms of time. How long? 100 and, so 106 ticks. Yeesh. Um... Unlocks the afterburners for my ships. That's the ship upgrade. Corvette build speed. That's, a, that's a, the build speed for a class of ship. But it's not, it doesn't really matter if we don't have the minerals to build this type of ship quickly. Um, any ideas, guys? What should I do? Afterburners for the ships, which is a module that I install upon the Corvettes. Build speed for the Corvettes. Or building speed increase for uh, buildings on the surface, I believe. What should I do? Can you research puppies? Yes, and then we'd eat them. The Provians eat puppies. They're a delicacy. Crunchy. Mm. <laughs> assembly patterns, say the chat. Corvette speed, says Herzilla. I think assembly is probably going to be the most useful assembly patterns. Okay. Thank you, folks. We'll go with that then. People would like the assembly patterns. So, uh, assembly patterns, building speed improvements. A rapid iteration in construction simulations determine the optimal components assembly patterns for each building project ahead of time. Carry on. So, uh, Megalodon, continue that research. Uh, sorry, give me the status of the other research projects. So, nine months remaining, so nine ticks until Kul Kiros has finished researching the farming subsidies, and Kul Salty River needs a bit more time for the fusion reactors. Sorry, only six months, it'll be actually faster. Okay, carry on, Dominion uh, valued employees. Yes, indeed, and babies. We eat babies. Why not? The other, other white meat. Okay, one of my construction ships has arrived at the sector of Pollux. We do have the resources to build a starbase, but I'm going to hold off for a moment because I want to see what happens with this planet here. What the fuck, Soviet, says Nep. <clears throat> you seem to be stuck on a loop with that. What the fuck, Soviet. How are you doing, Nep? Are you okay? How's your week so far? Welcome to your Friday. Yep, yeah, we'll just have the construction ships wait for a moment. Thank you, Hal Boffy Need Dose. Ooh, cool. Oh, wow, the border did expand. I didn't expect that to be the case. Nep says, you're reporting me to the police now. Not the cyber police! Uh, okay, please start construction of... Yep, build the mining stations. Build two of them. Yep, on these asteroid moons. Hmm. Very good. Carry on my science vessels. Normal speed is killing you. Well, cut me some slack. It's um, it's like my third try. The border only expands when you build stations and systems now. Indeed, I didn't expect that. I thought that it would only like provisionally claim the system, but then another ship could fly in and go and just destroy it, and that would be that. But now it counts as the border of your empire. So. Bleh. Right. Did I put the research did I put the research speed edict on? I don't think I did. Uh policies and edicts. Oh yeah. Oh yes, of course. Influence. I remember this. Uh 
Map the stars, the last 11 years. Planetary cap raises the planetary cap. Research grant. This edict favors our research uh, researchers with additional funds. Last for 11 years, research speed plus 10. Will cost me influence and energy. Hmm. No wait, this one will just cost me basic influence. Eh? And I get a cost reduction due to cutthroat politics. politics. Fabulous. Nep says, it's too late, it's happened, I'm getting cyber arrested. It's all thanks to myself, next time think before I cyber move against the cyber law. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no indeed. You didn't answer my question, Nep! How dare you not answer my question. How are you? How's your week? Research complete. Right, okay, stand by. Okay, research complete. The nuclear uh, fusion pro- eh? Swirling shadows, so this is- hang on. Nuclear fusion processes generate a great amount of power for ships, uh, but without many of the risks associated with fission power. Indeed. Right, so that's Cool Salty River. So, again, we have three more cards that have been bought before me. So, <clears throat> blue lasers, which are obviously better than red lasers, because they're blue. No, so it's a power, more powerful type of laser. Uh, what's this? Automatic, so survey speed plus 25. Ooh, yes please. Yeah, we're going with that. Survey speed, survey speed plus 25, so our vessels can move quickly, scanning. So, uh, automated exploration protocols. An advanced AI will aid science officers in their task to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no Blorg has gone before. The science ships will be able to explore the galaxy with the help from an AI. Carry on, please, Salty River. Nep says, you're doing amazing until you watch the stream, and now it's just mediocre. Yep. Yep. That, that, that makes sense. <clears throat> right, swirling shadows. Immense ragged planes of shadow uh, drift upon Hiji... Hilji 3's face, so that's this system here, a planet in this system. They are cast not by clouds, but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged, or rather jointed, to allow for a small degree of articulation. Science officer Kul Nuxeron has yet, uh, is, sorry, is as yet unwilling to say whether these things are flora or fauna, or what possible purpose, if any, uh, their elaborate shadow casting may serve. So that's the strange writing on the surface, I think. No, no, sorry, that, that's the atmospheric... Uh, anomaly. So what does that do though? Does it do anything? Fucking Click on the system. Obviously it's weird. Um, where was he when he did that? It's here. Oh, cool. Societal research. Wow, of six on that world. Nice. Nice. Carry on. Yep, return. Investigate that anomaly please. Uh, Nep says, how am I? You missed games with me. Yeah, we should get something going, truth be told. Um, I mean, if you wanted to... Uh, I don't know what's going on this evening, but I'd be happy to do some CSGO or something if you want to go shoot some cunts in the face this evening. Uh, talk to me after the stream and we'll see what's going on. Um, but yeah, I'd love to do some shit. Uh, but yeah, I'm fine. I'm good, really. It's been, a bit, it's been a bit of a normal week, you know? Like a work and then sleep, then work, then sleep. Not, not really much going on this week. I, I did want to go for a drive in my car, but there's just there's no time. There's just no time. <laughs> You know, just gotta work. Yeah, talk to me after the stream, Nep. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. I'll check Steam and find out who's playing what. Um, right. So, the, yeah, this 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 place does look very interesting. Possible target of future habitable stuff. So, two of my construction vessels, the Phoenix and the Tebow Baggins, are awaiting orders. One science vessel is scanning an anomaly. My other, si my other science vessel is continuing to s explore. Am I familiar with Escape from Tarkov? Nomina nominally, but I haven't really tried it. What's that? Sorry, what does that mean? Provaris Station. Uh, I don't know what the icon means. Research complete. Okay. Uh, we finished researching the farming subsidies, uh, unlocking the hydroponics farm Mark II. Hydroponics techniques can be further developed by creating farms with unique atmospheres, stimulate, uh, sorry, simulating different ecosystems. This allows for the production of food with higher levels of nutrients. Okay. Right, so Energetic Bum, our construction ship, is waiting or awaiting orders, presumably having just finished the mining nodes at, uh, what was it, at Izatar. Um, so Kul Curus, my societal scientist, would like me to pick a new tile for research. What's that? Sorry, no. I should plan something amazing with family or Lulu for the weekend. Yeah, I know, but it's just... I often forget and then it reaches the weekend. It's like, oh, fuck it, I just want to sleep. 
Um, population growth speed improvements. A heritage site. Um, sorry, what's a heritage site? Generates unity points. Ah. Unlocks Starbase Building Offworld Trading Company. Uh, oh, I see. So we can build outposts but not starbases currently. Well, we don't really need starbases right now. Thank you, Lorik. Thank you kindly, Lorik. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking the same. A heritage site could be useful to get unity. Okay. We'll go with that. Societal research continue. Hmm. Sure thing, Nep. Sure thing indeed. Thank you, uh, Jomo. Thank you very much, Jomo. Thank you. Right, so we still only ha only have one world. Which is gonna be gonna be a bit of an issue. Um so hang on, let me just get out back to the mate back over here. So research is underway. Underway. So one construction ship is awaiting orders here. Let us... Uh, yeah, fuck it. Build a an outpost so that we can start building some mining watsits. Whoops. No, we can't, we can't queue it yet. And over at Pollux, which is up here. Um, actually, move there. These resources seem more plentiful for the next outpost. Okay, let's go. Oh, alien writing. Someone used a mining laser from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of writing into the surface of a hill G1. The massive script covers a large portion of the planet's upper hemisphere and appears to be a short story chronicling the difficult life of an alien mercenary. Fascinating. So the world of Hiji has a plus three societal research uh, bonus. So somebody basically scribbled graffiti on the surface of a planet from orbit. <laughs> Thank you, Dorton. Thank you very much, Dorton. Thank you. Okay. Uh, now what? Let's go back to Bravaris. <laughs> yeah, just a massive alien penis. That's going to get quoted out of context. Okay, so down on the surface, upgrade build. Oh yes, I can upgrade the existing buildings. I might as well do that then. Well, I don't have a great deal of minerals. System survey complete. Contact report. Remnants. The the oh no, I've put an extra the in the in our adjective. <laughs> the the Probian Dominion is a buzz with news of the alien remnants studied by the USS Noxeron. These leavings are considered definitive proof of intelligent, purposeful, purposeful alien activity at some point in the past. We may still be alone now, but we were, uh, sorry, we were, but we are at least not the first to be so. Okay. Remarkable. Indeed. Fascinating. Right, what should I build? Um, well, we still don't have the population. We're still growing our population. Anomaly found. Oh, another anom anomaly. Same system. A cursory scan of uh, Hillegy 2 yields surprising results. Something seems to be scanning us back? Huh? Very hard. Uh, maybe leave it be for now until we get a bit more experience. Something scanning us back? Okay. Um. Build. What's this? Sorry. Autocathon Monument. System a monument to the first pioneers to venture into space. Alright. Yeah. Hmm. Construction complete. Ah, everything's queuing up at once. What's this, sorry? So survey complete on this world here. Lots of minerals. Oh yes. Anomaly. Uh, okay, yep, leave it be. System surveys. The whole thing. Yep, move on then. Go. Uh, construction complete. Very good. So start building the mining what's it's over here, please. Where are you? Yep. Um, thank you, uh, WD Camp and Blue Box Under and Sizot, uh, Dorton Hun and Joe Molop and Lorik. Thank you all of you. I'm so sorry, am I missing all of these? Thank you guys. Sincere thanks. Building without pop is really inefficient. Yes, I know, I know. Oh, well, I only, only built a couple, so it's fine. <laughs> so, we're getting 23 minerals per tick. We're certainly going to need more. Right. So this place here, there is a world that we can occupy. It's not, it's not as favourable for us. Oh, God. 
full of deep sinkholes and volcanic activity. Yikes. We don't have the ability to remove those yet. Hmm. But this area is still pretty good in terms of, well, building bases for research, resources. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Any thoughts on the game since last time I played it? Haven't really played it long enough. A leader has gained a, gained a level. Supreme Leader Lorth, ruling from Pravaris Prime. He's an investor and an industrialist. Hmm. An anomaly. Uh, yet yeah, leave it for now. Tradition is available. We have sufficient unity points to purchase another tradition. So, in the discovery tree, we will pick to boldly go. Survey speed is increased by 35% and science ship disengage chance increased by 50%. Okay. Carry on. Right. That planet is the planet that scanned me. Wait, which one? Sorry. Uh, hang on. Uh... Mass extinction. Where's the anomalies? Here we go. Uh, go to it. Here. No, no, it's in the Hinge system. Oh no, you're up. You're right. Wait, could that mean? Does that mean there's, there's possibly construction complete. A, a race living there? Interesting. Negative balance. Oh dear, we're losing. Well, we have neutral energy balance, so we're going to need more energy. So what was just built? Sorry. Something is costing me energy. Tebow Baggins. So I just built this uh, this thing here. This uh, that's the construction ship, the mining station. Construction complete. Does it cost me energy? Didn't, didn't realize it cost me energy. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll build a mining thing here, which will get me energy. Here we go. Turn off one of the labs which, which isn't being used on the planet's surface. Not a bad idea. Oh no, wait. Bad idea. The population has just appeared there and is growing, so it's about to be occupied. Hooray! Right. Hey. Negative balance. Yes, we're going to have to watch that. Inactive buildings. Yep. Again, population's growing. Okay, Kith Mantazo, so he is Anomaly one found. of my governors. Of which of which uh, planet? Um, hang on. The cool knocks are on has detected life signs coming from somewhere beneath the barren and lifeless surface of this world. What manner of organism could possibly live there? Fairly easy to research. Please begin. Where is the knocks are on? Science ship. Here it is. Uh, okay, the Cybrex. We've discovered artifacts from an alien, uh, an ancient alien civilization on Trabalor 3. Incredibly, this civilization, which apparently referred to itself as the Cybrex, seems to have been made up of machines that were linked together in some sort of collective consciousness. The age of these artifacts indicate they were active some 600,000 600, years ago. In this portion of the galaxy, at least, we have learned nothing of their exact origins. Okay. Uh, according to the partial data fragment that our scientists managed to extract from one of the artifacts, the Cybrex at some point launched a crusade to destroy all sapient organic life in the galaxy for reasons unknown. Interesting. Situation log updated. We now have a new quest chain to investigate the Cybrex. Precursors, the Cybrex. Interesting. Recover their artifacts. Do that later. Mm. Right. Continue to expand. The Dominion. How long, uh, sorry, how much longer am I going to stream for? Uh, truth be told, I really do need to end the stream. Um, sorry. Um, I do need to end the stream. I've got loads to do today. Um, so, thank you for watching. So, that was a bit of uh, Stellaris. Uh, this is the Provian Dominion uh, with our, ra well, our race of aliens from Provaris Prime. Uh, we are the Provian. And where are we? Here we are. Wait. So we are the Provian, and we, we are a, a sort of a scientific, well, highly intelligent, but somewhat combative, uh, militaristic uh, race of uh, insecto insectoids? Um, arthropoids, sorry. And uh, yeah, we're going to just uh, keep expanding as best we can um, throughout this, uh, this portion of the galaxy. Yeah, cool, right. Hang on a second. Yeah, we'll probably best expand that way to carve off our own little corner, watching out for any other alien complete. races that could be around us. 
Okay, so, uh, yeah, thank you again. I will catch you soon. Uh, time for me to go and get on with work. So on that front, hang on a minute. Uh, w work today. Hang on, save. Yep. Cool. So work today uh, takes the form of uh, working on the fourth week of work. So the end of the fourth week of work on uh, VR Pavlov bullshittery. So it's a, it's a 10 minute video that I'm still kind of pl plinking away on. And uh, there's still lots of work to do, I'm afraid. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to crack on and uh, have it ready for you as soon as I can. And then I'll take the weekend to chill as per usual. And um, yeah, cool. So uh, so thank you very much. And um, I hope you have a lovely afternoon. So I'm just going to go and get on with it and uh, be back later on later on this evening. Right. Uh, so who's playing? So oh, uh, so Sai has started playing. He started playing PUBG. OK, hang on a moment. So let's have a look. What's he doing? Uh, he's playing with ZF Caf. So this is ZF Sai and ZF Caf uh, playing a bit of PUBG. So, right. So you have a uh, have a lovely evening, everybody. Have a lovely. Sorry, what did I say? It's Pavlov VR, not VR Pavlov. Oh, it's fine, Dutch Slayer. Whatever. People know what I mean. Um, so yeah, this is uh, ZF Sai and ZF Caf. Have a lovely evening. If I don't see you again, have a lovely weekend. Take care.